I mean, you've been around, how long have you been around now? Five years. How long? Five years. Five years. Five years. And um, how, do you think your music's changed since you started out? Uh, it's, it's got better. It's got, the music's yeah. like, it's better production. Yeah. Like when we first done like Punks Not Dead, like the produ production's really crap. Yeah. But uh, like, now we've, like, we've learned, we made a lot of mistakes like in, like, in the business, like getting like, ripped off. Uh, record wise, the records are getting better and better. Yeah. The new album is really good. Yeah. So go and buy it. What else? What else? So keep your heat on. Well, does the material change? I mean, have you changed your, your lyrical, the, you know, the sort of lyrics you write, have they changed at all? Uh, uh, some of the songs are, yeah. but, but we're, like, we're, not, we're, not, we're not a political band. Like, we're not into politics. Yeah. I mean, like, a lot of bands are into, like, preaching politics. That's why you say you're going to bring beer now. Uh, <laughs> we, we, just, we just write songs of everyday life, what's, what, what affects us, and what's yeah. just really experiences. Well, what do you think um, about the punks that first started out, you know, like the Clash and the Sex Pistols? I mean, we're really... We're short the money. You all shot the money. No. <laughs> well, that's the thing, isn't it, you see? When, when punk first started out, it was... Um, you know, it was going to be for the kids, you know, and it was all going to be the kids. And then, then you know, you got the Clash playing these big stadiums in America and earning 250 grand for doing it. Mm. You know, I mean, what, what do you think about uh, sort of punk, how punk's going now? Can't make it's much of punk nowadays. What? Can't make a lot of money punk nowadays. It's sort of different to the new stuff, though. Those. Sorry? It's sort of different to the new bands. They, yeah. were, the, they were the bands who started it. So, so, I mean, they can, so they've progressed musically. They've gone on to do their own thing. Because like there was no punk before they started, it was just sort of but like, stones and. A lot of the punks is really boring. Like it's just total noise. Yeah. A lot of white bands are shit. So like shit bands going to go. I don't want to start conflict. I mean. Just be a band called Next Chat. They were pretty shit. Oh man. fucking. Fucking. Well, what do you think about um, the image that punk has now? I mean, like you're a skinhead, you know, and that has quite. Uh, yes, that's you. I'm afraid to say so. Um, you know, I mean, that, they have. Skinheads have, have a sort of fairly violent image. I mean, do you see yourselves as being fairly violent as a band or not? Depends <laughs> what you mean by fairly violent. Oh, <laughs> well, you know, I mean, it's fairly violent. What do you mean? What do you mean? Well, um. Well, yeah, you know, um, like, for instance, the thing that developed in Southall as a result of that Four Skins gig no, there. I do agree with that. I like the blacks, have got a lot to do with that. Yeah. I mean, like, a lot of people like. Like skinhead, skinhead you, you stand in the corner picking his nose and you get arrested for assault. <laughs> I mean, it's like, it's like, it's like papers, it's like papers like, like the sun. They go about saying, uh, like, they put wee bits in the paper with skinheads and that. So people read it, believe it. It's, I like skinheads are okay. Yeah. Like, I'm saying skinheads. So what do you, what we really want, what we'd like to know is what do you think punk's about then, if it's not punk's just... You got another punk saying that you're not punk because you're on the crass and you're not punk because you're on the exploiting. I mean, like, punk hasn't got any fucking, like, set, set in rules or anything. It's just doing what you want. I mean, like, you fucking... It doesn't matter what the fuck you wear either. Do you think it's... Do you think it's... Sorry. I mean, you get too many punks who just think, like, fucking, oh, you're not a punk because you do such and such a thing, or you're not a punk because you listen to fucking disco records in your house and that, but... You're not a punk because you're eyeliner. Do you think it's necessary to dress up, you know, sort of put on the, the no, kind of heavy gear? Attitude. doesn't matter how you dress up. But like, like people like us, like we believe, well I believe in it as an alternative, like to going to discos. And Do you think you're sort of fitting in well with you, with the uh, exploited? Yeah, say something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> mummy, mummy, I'm on TV. Yay! <laughs> Sorry, <chef. laughs> do you think? How do you think you're fitting in with the exploited, who are supposed to be one of the premier punk bands around? Oh, sorry. The premier <laughs> punk band. <laughs> how, how do you think you're going to fit in in, in in this 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 high high sort of star environment you're in now? So. Not a clue. <laughs> no, <laughs> fit in all right. Well, <laughs> so, <laughs> don't ask him difficult questions. <laughs> His name is Carl. <laughs> <laughs> when he was up, he just came doing like just came doing that. He just fucking made this big right, stupid dinner like and that. I'll leave him alone. I'll leave him alone. No, no. How, how did you get into the band? Where's he gone? How, how did you get? How did you get into the band? Uh, through an ad in Sounds. An ad in Sounds. So I just phoned him up. Sorry. 
I just went down, I just phoned him up and went up for an addition, should be. And what are you like, he was the best, first guitar, was the best guitarist to come. Really? Uh, he wasn't the best looking guitarist, but he was the best playing guitarist. <laughs> this is Captain Scarlet, and he's with the UK Subs, who are a, a sort of contemporary punk band, I suppose, with the uh, Exploited. Um, how, how do you, what do you think of the UK, of the Exploited? The Exploited, I think they're... Well, the, the, the best thing about the Exploited, they, they, like, they go on the original idea of punk, and they... Uh, like, loads of people slag them off, like, they've all got Mohicans, and they play as fast as they can, but... They give you a five No, the, 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 the original idea they punk, they're the only punk band that's s stuck true to the original idea of punk. And they play as fast as they can, and they're like... There's loads of bands, right, that think they can only play three chords, right? Yeah. And they, they play as fast as they can, right? But the Exploited, they're like one of the fastest bands, and they're like one of the better ones. How do, can you tell us how, how record companies sort of treat punk bands? I mean, do they get a fair deal from record companies? Yeah, well, t well, we first started, we signed a really, really bad uh, publishing deal and a record deal. We just got ripped off. Like, we're due uh, £10,000, and we'll, we'll never see a penny yet. But there's a lot, of, a lot of the independent labels just rip all the bands off. And I've told a, f a few punk bands not, not to sign to labels unless you get a lawyer to check it, check the contract out. So the, the indie scene is sort of pretty... It's, sort of it's taking, your, taking your money, is it? Well, no, well, they take the band's money. Like, never, well, they take the band's money because they, they never give the bands any money whatsoever. But the only record company we've made is Secret. And we've got good money off of Secret. But the reason we left Secret was because they wanted me to change like, the music of the band, like more commercial. Uh, what about touring? Um, How did you get on with the venues? I mean, do you get good deals from the venues? We must be one of the, the worst bands for getting gigs, because like, there's hardly anywhere we can play now. Because like, the last time we played in Scotland was two years ago, because like, nobody will touch us. Would you like to sign to a major record yeah. label? Uh, tough to, uh, it all depends on, it tough to depend on what label it was. But Let's say, suppose CBS came along tomorrow, or Warner Brothers, and said, we want the exploited. What would you say? How much? <laughs> <laughs> how much? Uh, how much will you pay me? <laughs> Money. <laughs> what about your, um, your fans, your audience? I mean, do you think they're good, good, good for audience? Yeah, most of the people come, follow bands about, they're right into the bands. I like, like the bands appreciate the fact we get quite a few people follow us about and we appreciate that they travel all that way. Do you, uh, do you write to your, you know, do you write back to your people? Well, we, 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 secret, we used to get like hundreds of letters at Secret and uh, we used to leave it up to them to fucking send like information sheets and that up. But half the time they never done it. So now uh, we're going to do it ourselves. Charity. But they must send five pound. <laughs> Well, uh, thanks, th thanks very much for talking to us. It's uh, been very good of you. It's okay. Where's the money? Ladies and gentlemen, the exploited. Yeah.